Welcome, welcome, welcome to Emerse Podcast 360. I'm your host, Maserati. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. No matter where you are in this metaverse world, we're going to continue to bring you the best quality content and formula that we know how. We want to thank you guys continuously for all the likes, shares, and subscriptions on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and now TikTok. Hey, we are loving the love that you guys are showing us here at Emerge 360. And guys, do we have a special guest for you coming from our neighboring state from Texas? He's an icon, producer, movie editor, music maker. He's just an artist. All around. This is being brought to you by Involved Social and Civic Club, Brussel Family Insurance Agency, and your own Stepping Stones LLC of Scrap City, Louisiana. As promised, we have a very special guest here from our neighboring Texas state next door. He is an icon, as I mentioned, in the music industry, the movie editing, and he's an artist himself. He's a composer of his own Spaz a studio, Spaz a nation, baby. Studios where he's the owner and producer of legendary music for some of the greats. He some of the greats he just released with Cole Beasley, former Buffalo Bill, Dallas Cowboy, wide receiver, 80 Stings, and it is jamming. And I give you none other than Mr. Victor Fast Clark is in the building. How you doing today, Fast? Man, I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Bro, Blessed and highly favored. Yes, sir. I'm going to let you tell the story. Uh, man, I, 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 I brag about you all the time. Uh, you, He's also people. He is the producer of the Talaya Sawyer story. He is the editor. He did it all. And he's a great guy. And I'm so happy to have you. But fast, kind of give the people a background about how you was inspired to become in, in the music industry and pursue your career as you have. Well, I mean, I started out as a dancer and a choreographer. I choreographed my first uh, routine when I was 10 years old with my brothers and sisters and cousins and just kind of pers- kind of pursued that. I had a gift for it and it just kind of went into uh, my reputation, just started growing and growing and growing. And before you know it, man, I'm people are flying me all over the country and all over the world for my choreography skills, um, which I toured uh, Asia, Japan. Tokyo, Yokohama, Kobe, Kyoto, uh, Osaka, places like that. And then I ended up doing some choreography for a band uh, that got signed to a major record deal, the Wooten Brothers. And um, then now I'm around, now I'm touring the world with a band. And so I kind of caught wind of the music and you know, picked up the keys, didn't know I could, could play it. And it just kind of came natural to me. Practice, 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 and before you know it, I opened up a four suite recording studio in the Warner Urban Plaza and started uh, uh, being an engineer and music producer. Right, I know you you have a lot of projects and you're a very busy guy, you know. But share with us what are some of the challenging things that Fast Victor Clark is going through right now. I know you you working with Mr. Drew Pearson. Just kind of sh- share with us what are some of the major projects you have on top right now. Um, well, of course, I am working with the legendary Hall of Famer, Drew Pearson. Uh, we have a television show that we're working on called The Ultimate Hell Mary. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been crafting that and shooting shows. We have a lot of amazing guests on the show, such as like Rob Lowe, Ryan Phillippe, Jimmy Fox, the DOC, Mandy Moore. Uh, just did a show. Um, just this past weekend, we had Emma Smith on the show, Jason Garrett, you know, people like that. And, um, and, you know, and got my business partners. We're all together working on this show. Malcolm Snell, Paul South, and the co-host and the, and the cinematographer, Static. Um, I'm also working with Jay Humble, the Humble Way. She's a very, very super talented artist. And so y'all look out for her. Her stars rising really fast. 
I'm also working with former Dallas Cowboy Greg Ellis in his new movie called My Dear, surrounded by uh, about mental health. And he brought me in and hired me to score his entire film and do all the foley and the sound design. So that's forthcoming as well. Also, I have an artist out of Europe named Champagne Flex just finished up his single Red Pill. The video is finished, and we're getting ready to launch that off. I'm also working with former NFL player from the new from the Saints to the Cowboys, Martez Wilson, and getting ready to come out with his new music. And also, I'm working with Curtis Miller, um, which is he's from actually uh, New Orleans, and he was in the Katrina. A disaster, had lived in the Superdome, and then I brought him to Dallas where he ended up working at in Frisco cleaning windows on skyscrapers and ended up falling, breaking his neck and being paralyzed from the neck down. And doctors told him he would never recover from his injuries, but he has came a long way throughout the years. And I'm doing a documentary on his life, and it's going to be a spectacular event, and I believe that it's going to win an Oscar. Wow. Uh, you really been working, bro, uh, since the last time I saw you. I, I know when we was doing the Tulane and saw your documentary, bro, you had us up so early ready to get on that highway. Man, how, what, Man. explain your workflow, bro. I know you – explain to people what you really do behind the scenes that they get to see on TV. Well, like I said, everything looks easy when you're watching it on TV or hearing it on the radio, but they have no idea how much work that it takes – behind the scene to get these things done. But, you know, I, I'm self-driven. I have a relentless work ethic. I don't stop and I don't quit. You know what I'm saying? I'm up against adversity. If my back is against the wall and there's no wall, I'm still going. I just don't stop. I don't quit and I don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe hills and valleys and low points and stuff like that, man. But, you know, I'm always going to keep going, going forward. Too. everything's always positive and above board right right and you know just just being in that before we go to commercial break you know kind of share with the people uh, about the, the 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 technique of you put into your work your music like you we just got through talking about you're very particular about your brand kind of share with people that's out there trying to start their own brand what is the formula for being successful well the number one thing I would say is your reputation. Your reputation is all you got protect with all costs because that's 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 the deal breaker. You if you're out there doing bad business, you say you're gonna do something and you don't deliver and you just you know, you're just not doing the right things and your reputation gets out there and then nobody's gonna wanna work with you, nobody's gonna trust you. So the number one thing that I've done over the years is keep our reputation solid. So anytime my name is spreading around, nothing but good vibes and good energy, and that's how I get to work and keep working because my reputation, I don't let nothing get on it. Right. We're going to take an intermission and we come back. We're going to jump into your project with Cole Beasley. Then we're going to go into Faza Nation Studios and give you guys an inside feel of what it's like to be with in a day in a life of Mr. Victor Clark, a.k.a. Mr. Faz, is here with us on Emerge 360. And we'll be right back after this short intermission. Emerge 360 Podcast focuses on uplifting rural and urban areas and dire conditions with no solutions by shedding light on pioneers, athletes, and political figures who have made an impression on Northeast Louisiana and surrounding areas. Immerse understands the social and civic needs to love, learn, live, and laugh. So tap in every Sunday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. on all social networks and platforms. Always remember, Immerse 360. Mr. Slept on. Early mornings, I ain't slept long. Big headed, so I'm headstrong. Had to be just a be headed to where I was going, like my head gone. They said I'm crazy, but I told them all that it's no biggie, but you're dead wrong. I'm the wrong one to be swept off a bunny the rug. Patience off a wondrous love. 
Welcome back. Welcome back to Emerge 360. This portion of the show is being brought to you by our Facebook supporters, Stardom Networks, Psycho Astronauts, and Club Planet Funksville. And we always like to give a shout out. Shout out to Kick Thrones in Scrop City, Louisiana. We're still here with the icon of the music industry. He's worked on movies such as with Adam Sattler. He's worked with Erica Baidu and the list goes on. And you guys don't know. This is the guy over in the big state of Texas behind the scene. Fast before we went to intermission, uh, you took us in the workflow of how you stay dedicated. You're building your brand, but kind of share with the people about being in the studio, producing the album for former NFL wide receiver, Cole Beasley and 80 stings. Okay, well, I mean, I met Cole. Um, actually, it's kind of all started through Greg Ellis. Uh, we worked on the movie, the Carter High movie, starring Vivica Fox and Charles S. Dutton, David Banner Putal, and Greg Ellis's idea for the soundtrack was to bring in a a player that was popular over the Cowboys. So he brought J.J. Wilcox in, safety for the Dallas Cowboys at the time. He put us in the studio together. We hit it off, started making beats. He started coming to my studio. Now we turn our beats every day. He take them to the Cowboy locker room. Cowboys turning up to the beats we making. Before you know it, uh, they're all coming over. You know, Greg Hardy, Demarcus Lawrence, uh, Brandon Carr. You know, you name it. They was all pulling up. Uh, Mo Playboy. Uh, and so it just kind of got popular. And then one of the guys that was coming was name was Jeremy Mincy, which was a linebacker for the Cowboys. And uh, Cole was like, man, who is this guy fast, man? Who is he? I want to meet him, too. So he gives him my number. He calls me. Cole comes over. Uh, he lets me hear some some uh, some raps he had did in his phone. And I immediately knew this guy was super talented. Came upstairs, went through some beats. He liked that beat. Took it, wrote to it, came back, and cut the first song. And then that's and it started from right there. And eventually we cut 80 Stings. And we released that in 2018, and it went viral and put us on the Billboard charts. Wow. You know, in, in, in that project, you know, Faz, I know you grow fast. Uh, people don't people don't know. I've been knowing Faz since about like 2013, around 2013. So we're looking at 19 years now. And from the time I met him until now, the people that he came across even after the celebrities that I was around with him is amazing. But, you know, in that project with Cole, what are some of the life lessons that you learned in producing for a caliber uh, athlete like that? Well, it was really kind of the same because, you know, his, his profession is football and mine is music. So it was just kind of like he just kind of leaned on me. You know, he had his talent, but he kind of just leaned on me to guide to guide the whole playbook because I, I understand the music industry, you know. It's just like if I was coming to the football side, he'd have to coach me into how to get it done. So, you know, with, with what he does and what I do with the rapping and the music and the business, put it together and that and it just made magic. Yeah, and for the listeners that don't know, that was Cole Beasley doing the intermission when we were, were getting ready to return to the show. I'm going to give you guys another piece of it at the end of the show, but we want you to go download it and listen to Cole Beasley. Uh, the boy got flow. But, you know, fast, we, 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 we look at things of how it is now, and you look over your career. Uh, if you could go back, what would you tell that dancing 18-year-old Victor Fast Clark? Well, you know what? That's kind of a hard question because I've always been focused. You know, like I've never just kind of been that wild guy. You know, I've always been focused to per at a young age. And I practice every day to perfect my dancing and to where people recognize me and, and start flying me across the world like that. So, you know, and the only thing I do now, just from then, I just get wiser and wiser and better and better and better, you know. And so, and I'm blessed to be able to make a living out of my passion, which is really the key to success. How famous you are, how much money you have, it's the fact that you can wake up every day and make a living out of what you love to do. That's the key. That's success. Most definitely. You know, and, and, and we're looking at it, you know, uh, you say you, you stay busy and it's about success and staying focused. But along the career, what are some of the things that 
you did not expect in the music and the movie industry? Well, I just didn't know that, you know, because I'm a very, very humble and nice individual. Yes, you are. Yes, you are one of the most. And this is, I'm going to add that, people. This is one of the most humble guys you ever meet that has remarkable and, I mean, unspeakable. You can't even speak on his talent. Let's go ahead. Yeah. So I just didn't realize that the business was so full of, of crooks and snakes and and, you know, backstabbers and users. I just didn't know because, you know, and because I'm the way I am, I thought everybody was like me. But the more I go through life, I begin to realize there's hardly nobody like me. There's only very few people that's that's in in this, in this type of industry that's really have a good heart and really want to truly help people without trying to screw them over. So, you know, that's kind of what I learned along the way, you know, and I figured there – that um, I used to be like, well, why did, did God introduce me and put me in such a crazy world like this? But I know why, because the artists that need, they're looking for somebody like me because everybody don't have to be that kind of guy. So now you, so the artist that's on there on the, on the, on the righteous path and they run into me, I'm the guy that's going to, that's going to help them get to where they got to get to. And it's going to be all love and all fair. You know, and you know, in fast, uh, we look back on your career, and I'm looking here, uh, people, uh, the, the the movies, the sitcoms, the television shows that 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 he's been part of. His success, his success include composing music for Adam Sandler's feature film, The Bench Warmers, ABC's Family Original Show, Lincoln Heights, Academy Award Women TV series, Crash on Stars, and produce a song for the hit show. Love games on the Oxygen Channel, and and that's just, and y'all, that's just a little piece of the pie. And and fast, how was that, bro? Man, all I can tell you, man, is that I am just I just have favor because I don't because think about it, I don't be looking for nothing. All the stuff you see, I'm not chasing it, I'm not looking for it. All I do is got my head focus on being good at what I do and all these things just fall in my lap. And then I just, and when it's in my lap, I work until, until I get it done and, and, and close the deal. Most definitely, you know, and when people talk about movies and things of that nature, I always tell them that people don't really understand that Hollywood is in Dallas, Texas. What are some of the other producers and your collaborations and people that you're looking forward to working with right now? Let's just say just in the music industry. Uh, like, uh, you mean like, am I looking for people that can just can come aboard and be a part of what I'm doing? Or just collaborating with them, period. Other producers and things of that nature. Uh, yeah, you know, um, I'm definitely looking for some producers. Cause like I said, I've, I've really done my share of beats and I'm still doing beats right now. But I would like to have a team of beat makers, some really, really hot cats that can push it out. You know, so I am looking for that right now. And business, you know, like I, you know, I'm really looking for some extraordinary, talented, genius business people in marketing and promotions to really help push that level as well, you know. Right, so, right. Right. You know, and you travel around the world, like you say, you, you've been to Tokyo uh, and, and things of that nature. Yokohama, Japanese, there are very, various Japanese cities. Share with the people about doing that at such a young age and now how you've grown from that. Well, it's a, it was a totally amazing experience, you know, and uh, it is nothing like America. It's completely opposite. And just when you're there, your talent is respected to a high, high level. I mean, I was like, I was like, I was Michael Jackson over there. It was just phenomenal the way they treat you. And, um, you know, then when you come back to America, you know, that's when you don't realize, you know, what it is to take. Cause I was, my first tour, I was there like six months, six months straight. You know, so, um, so I was at home sick after six months. I was ready to get back. And, uh, but, but, but once I, um, but, uh, once I got back, man, I turned back into a regular dude, man. Like America, don't, they don't even love you like that at all. 
Wow. Score. You know, and, and you know, when I was there with you guys and, you know, we did the uh, collaboration with M1 from Dead Prez on the Tulane Saw Your Story. And it was it's, uh, it's, it's amazing to hear you guys say that your biggest fan base is in those European and, and, and other countries. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm not really sure, man. It's just that they just they just respect talent over there, just on a whole other level. And you know, and America just a hard cookie to crumble. But if you can if you can conquer this this market, I mean, you're definitely gonna gonna go high. But uh, overseas is just I mean, it's just more love, and you know, they just really want to they just really want to see you win when you're there. Right, right. And, and you know, Faz, like I say, we're just so happy to have you on. We're going to take another in, intermission. When we come back, we're going to wrap it up. And we're going to talk about, you know, some of the people that you work with, the actors, the celebrities, the athletes, that kind of left an impact on your life for those who may mentor you along the way when we come back from this intermission. Sounds great, Brian. Hey, we're here with the man himself. If y'all know anything about the movie and the music industry, when you ride in West, you got to stop in Texas and see the best. It's Faz A Nation Studios here at Emerge 360. Faz, Victor Clark, when we return after this intermission. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That was a little snippet of some of them beats, hot beats that Fast Nation Studios dropped. This portion of the show is being brought to you by Morehouse Community Development, 44 million ENT. And we like to thank Miss Nisi with Real Talk with Miss Nisi on Facebook. Hey, we enjoyed being here with one of the icons and the legends guys when it come to movies, producing, editing. He's he's just a raw, natural talent that's very humble and innovative, and he's a great guy to be around. You know, fast before we went to intermission, uh, you had took us along the road from Japan, Japan, along your career doing as a young guy and the things that you learned throughout your career, and you gave us some very humbling advice. But over the time, who left an impact on you? What celebrity, what actor, or what mentor left a major impact on Fast Clark? Well, I can say one of the number one guys is going to be my friend and business partner, uh, Talance Sawyer, because he's always pushed me to excellence. You know, even when we was in the gym, took me to heights in the gym I never thought I would go to. You know, just a great all-around guy and mentor. And it was really him uh, in the in the midst of creating the song for Cole Beasley and 80s things. It was his push that that helped that thing go because I could have waited. I could have did a little bit, but he was like, fast, put that record out right now. you got to do it right now while Cole is still a cowboy. And so, you know, so he definitely gets credit to um, being the guy, the pusher, you know, to make sure I'm on point. You know, so I thank him for that. Most definitely. Shout out to to Lance all you know, to Lance all your story. Uh, as a big producer and sponsor of this episode and this show that's being brought to you tonight is still, like he say, to Lance pushing the issue. Bro, you know, fast. anybody yeah. else, let's just say an actor uh, mm-hmm. that left an impact on you that you'd work with? An uh, actor? Well, <clears throat> uh, as far as uh, famous actors, I don't really... Uh, know any but you know but I, I do i would like to give a shout out to a guy named kenny gardner um who just uh at the film festival uh won an award for uh, being a lead role in a movie called stepdad and you know i worked on him on a play you know back in the day i was uh i was a director of a play called i deserve your wife and he was and then that's how i met him and he's always been a good friend ever since since then. Most so, definitely. Yeah. He gave me some very good advice, you know, like when I was I was just not getting my feet wet directing and he saw, you know, I was kind of green right there, man, and stepped up and uh, gave me some great advice that I still carry to this day. 
and he's in the the new Greg Ellis film. He's also the lead actor actor in the new movie with Greg Ellis too, my dear. What's what's up, man? Uh, and fast, like I say, bro, I'm proud of you. I'm glad that um, uh, mm-hmm. I was with Lance and he introduced me to you once again. Uh, Talance is always connecting yeah, people and doing things, and he slides to the side once the plug and the connection's been made. You know how he is. Oh yeah, well, because you know, because he know he when he do that, because he, he know who he's doing it to is gonna be is gonna be loyal. You know what I'm saying? He know because he only mess with real guys anyway. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. You know, fast. we always ask our guests, but you being a special episode and being a special guest from my neighboring state, uh, what would you like to tell the young, inspiring producers and editors out there uh, as they travel along this journey? Well, all I can tell you, man, is just work hard. Work hard, never stop, never give up, and stay loyal to the people who's loyal to you. And just and just be about your business and about your craft. That's really really the main footprints of it all. And just and just be humble. No matter how successful you get, no matter how much money you get, don't let money uh, change you into something that you're not. Most definitely, you know, fast, bro. Uh, man, I love you like a big brother, bro. Uh, you man. you 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 know, you was the first one I called. Uh, when I got ready to do this podcast and you gave me your honest uh, critique, how you think yeah. now? How you feel about your boy now? <laughs> oh, you, you came up, man. Merce <laughs> 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 360. Y'all better watch out now. Worldwide. Let's uh, go. So well, I got I got to give a shout out to my, my main guy too, CJ. CJ Malone. And that's a brother right there, man. He's been down like four flats from day one. So much love to that brother right there as well. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Fast, we enjoyed you, man. You know, uh, bro, I miss y'all. And I'm we, I'm going to plug up with y- y'all boys, man. I, I really miss y'all. I'm be looking for your help here pretty soon as uh, Emerge. We get ready to go to the next level with this video and then editing. You know I got to come to the sensei and learn from the best. So we be looking for that call, big bro. Well, hey, man, you're, you're always welcome. So whenever you get ready to come through Fascination Studios for a visit, man, the doors will be open, red carpet laid out, Southern hospitality on deck, whatever you need, my guy. Most definitely, bro. We're going to let you get to your busy night. We know it's the – hey, y'all, his work time – it's just getting started, and it's yeah. 8.30, and this time for him to clock in. Hey, Fast Man, you take care, bro, and we're going to catch right. up with you real soon. All right, cool. Shout out to Michael McBain. We, we about to put some moves on, too. Already. I'm your host, Maserati. This has been another episode of Pioneer Wednesday. This has been brought to you by Stepping Stones LLC, Sober Motivation of Facebook, and your own involved social and civic club where we understand the social and civic needs of love, learn, live, and laugh. Until next time, y'all get involved. Y'all stay encouraged. And most of all, y'all stay immersed. Here's a snippet. I'm going to finish it for y'all. Cole Beasley. Produced by Fascination Studios, Mr. Victor Fast Clark. Hey, the stings. We out of this thing. Say hello to Mr. Slept On. Early mornings, I ain't slept long. Big headed, so I'm headstrong. Had to be just to be headed to where I was going, like my head gone. They said I'm crazy, but I told them all that it's no biggie, but you're dead wrong. I'm the wrong one to be swept off up under the rug. Patience of a wondrous love to come from the mud and get y'all up off me. Flowing circles round them like drawstrings. Overheads get moss reach. For the stars, I was taught dream. Never stop, eat, wreak havoc like have them all deep. You ain't talking money, then you've lost me. I'm saving all it for my offspring. Can't Snatch a necklace up off me Cause I don't have one Spent that on college funds For both my sons But it's four accounts Accounting for Another two That's yet to come Yes I have enough They can have some Competition Yeah I have to When you don't look the part Yeah you have to When you do Opportunities stack up Like the odds against me I just have one Opportune moment But that's all I need Cause I own it Seize it Like I see So cold like I see And I'm just chilling Like IVs I don't have to try Come and try me This is effortless Like when I Blink, 
smooth like ice rinks and I ain't reached my peak just a chance to be a rapper and the future is what I'll be labels all gonna wanna sign me Cold Nation Records first sign me independent labeled owned by me so I'm taking like I'm Liam niece's daughter but by me I'm bossed out but Sunday Jerry's boss now when I ball out I'm a dog when dad get the ball out